Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here, darkmonkeyballs.com. Just uh, checking on these guys. They were locked up yesterday. This is the uh, pastel yellow belly. And uh, my pastel female. Actually, she's a pastel 66% poshet orange ghost uh, female. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any OG uh, males or any of that to uh, try to prove her out. So whatever. Maybe down the road. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm just cleaning them out. You can see they kind of make a little bit of a mess. There's some urates and stuff. Basically, when you're uh, pairing stuff, if you guys have ever wondered, those guys that are uh, breeding and whatnot, uh, why they seem to make a mess of their cage when you're uh, when they're being introduced and stuff. A couple reasons. Um, sometimes females and males will push out their scent glands. They'll kind of mark their territory with some scents. Uh, try to get the other ones enticed. Um, another reason, they'll clear out their vents. Uh, they'll clean them out and make space when they're going to lock. So uh, you might see some track marks uh, from their scent glands. You might see stuff like this. Just really important to clean out, which is why I'm checking on them right now. Um, also important to have air holes on your tubs, all that shit. But uh, yeah, basically, just clean this stuff out. I was just kind of thinking, uh, cleaning these guys out got me on the thought process of like things like mites and ways to prevent them. And uh, I probably talked about it before, but most folks, if you guys keep ball pythons, use a product called Preventamite. Pretty good product for the most part. Uh, it does have its drawbacks. And one of the big drawbacks is it's really only good for a heftier snake, uh, ball pythons and bigger. Um, anything smaller, uh, especially hognose snakes, I gotta be careful because if magically this video got 10 million views and the dudes at Preventum might saw it, I'd be in a lot of trouble because they get mad about shit. But, uh, no, nah, Preventum is good, but it can kill uh, smaller snakes, especially hognose and stuff like that. And unfortunately, Preventum will never admit that, but uh, I have had a few folks use it on smaller snakes and uh, it killed them. So you got to be careful with, uh, you know, reading your directions and stuff. And kind of see how I'm doing things here, cleaning this thing out, and she's going all over the place. But uh, yeah, you got to be really careful with preventamite stuff, or really any uh, anti-mite uh, treatment. Um, pretty much, if you, if you think about it, at the end of the day, it's just bug spray. Uh, it's a reduced bug spray. Uh, look at that. You can see she's being a little naughty snake. That's all right. She's just cruising around, trying to get her back over. She's all nice and warm, getting fat. Um, but yeah, so you gotta be careful. There's all sorts of little different tricks that you can use. Uh, and then some bad ones that pe I've heard people using, and I've used before as well, and didn't realize it was bad until afterwards. Like uh, vegetable oil, or a mineral oil. Mineral oil? Yeah, that's what I mean. Um, you can kind of use it, people rub down their snakes with it, and it's supposed to kill the mites. But, what it does, sorry you guys, you, got, you get the weird video here. Uh, what it'll do, is it'll create space between the scales and uh, you'll actually have your snake start losing scales if you use too much uh, oils and stuff. Um, if you don't get pre Preventamite, which is really, it's it's an awesome product for snakes, for uh, ball pythons and stuff, I have it uh, and it takes care of the problem real quick if you use it right. So I'm not I'm not trying to knock Preventamite, I just want you guys to know that it's it can be lethal to smaller animals and stuff and you kind of have to do more of a pain in the ass process to get rid of mites. Um, why isn't this closing? What the hell? My tub doesn't want to close. But, uh... Yeah, you just gotta be careful with it. I mean, that's really, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you don't have pre Preventamite, what you can do is wash a snake off with some soap and water. Some hot soapy water. Or not hot, but warm soapy water. Uh, you have to do that a lot. Um, also quarantine and all that other shit. And a lot of bull crap. But, uh... You know, in something like this, where they're all together, if one snake has mites, uh, chances are they're all going to get them. Uh, the thing that sucks with mites, if you didn't realize, is uh, the uh, eggs and the infants are actually air, uh, airborne. They're super, super tiny. So if you go to a reptile show, uh, I know a lot of folks that go, they'll actually take their clothes off, they'll wash their clothes when they get home really quick, and they before they do anything with the reptiles, because um, mites can be airborne. And if you haven't experienced them, you know, eventually you'll probably get them from whatever. Really hard to take care of. Uh, they're basically little fleas or ticks or whatever. They're mites. It's totally different. But anyways, uh, they suck the blood. 
and uh, they breed like crazy, super easy to spread, a bitch to take care of, and uh, that's why something like Preventamite works, it leaves a little bit of chemical residue, kills them, and uh, works really good, but like I said, it can be lethal to other snakes. So uh, anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching, and you can watch my rack as I go up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully we get eggs here in a bit. Take it easy guys, later.